Welcome to Electron Line. In order for us to understand covariance matrices a little bit better, let's do some numerical examples. And here's the first of our numerical examples that we're going to tackle. Let's say that we're going to take some measurements of an object. We're going to measure the length, width, and the height. And we're going to take five measurements. So there's five data sets. Here's the matrix representing the five data sets. And then if we average each of the measurements, we get the average length to be 4.1 the average width to be 2.1, and the average height to be 0.6. How do we turn that variation in the data into a covariance matrix? Remember that the diagonal will represent the variances in the individual measurements uh, for the length, the width, and the height. And let's just say that that represents x, y, and z. And then the, the off-diagonal elements represent the covariance, the variances related to the three different measurements, so the length varying with the width, the length varying with the height, and so forth. In some later videos, we'll tell you what the meaning is of those particular elements. Here, we're just going to learn how to calculate it. So what we need to do is we need to find those nine elements. Across the diagonal, we have the variances of the length, the width, and the height, so there's different ways in which it is represented mathematically. And so that way you can see kind of how that looks. And let's go ahead and calculate these variants, the, the, the three variances across the diagonal. So for the length, what we're going to do is we're going to take the difference between the average or the mean of the length uh, measurements and the individual measurements. Take that difference each time. There's five of those. We square each one of them. We sum them up and we divide it by five. So that would look like this. The average is 4.1. And we subtract from that the first measurement, 4.0. We square that. We add to that the, uh, the average or the mean minus the second measurement, 4.2. We square that. We add to that the average, 4.1 minus the third measurement, 3.9. We square that plus the average, 4.1 minus the fourth measurement, 4.3. We square that plus the average, 4.1 minus the last reading, 4.1 squared at, and then we take the whole thing and we divide it by 5. So that would be times 1 over 5. And what do we get when we do that? Well, we probably need a calculator for that. That would be 0.1 squared plus 0.1 squared plus 0.2 squared plus 0.2 squared and plus well, that would be 0 squared, all right? And we divide that by 5, and we get 0 0.02. We do the same for the width measurements, and uh, we get the average, in this case, 2.1. We subtract from that the first reading, which is 2.0. We square that, plus the average, minus the second reading, 2.1. We square that, plus the average, minus the third reading, 2.0, square that, plus the average, minus the fourth reading, 2.1, we square that, plus the average, minus the fifth reading, 2.3, and we square that, and then we take the whole sum and divide it by 5. So what we get here, actually we don't really need a calculator, 0.1 squared, that's 0.01, that's 0, that's 0.01, because we take 0.1 and square, that's 0.02, that's 0, and that's 0.2 squared, that would be 0.04 plus 0.02, that's 0.06, divided by 5, and we get 0 0.012. 0 0.012. And finally, for the uh, variance in the height measurements, we take the average, 0 0.6, we subtract the first reading, 0 0.6, we square that, plus the average, minus the second reading, 0 0.59, we square that, plus the average, 6.0, oh, oh, 0 0.6, not the other way around, 0 0.6 minus the third reading, 0 0.56, and we square that, plus the average, minus the fourth reading, 0 0.62, square that, plus the average, Minus the fifth reading, 0 0.63. We square that, and the whole thing divided by 5. That should be a parenthesis, and we need a bracket on this side. I think for this one, I'm going to use a calculator. That's definitely 0. Here we get 0 0.01 squared 
plus 0 0.04 squared plus 0 0.02 squared and plus 0 0.03 squared add all that up divide that by 5 and we get 0 0.0006 those would then be the diagonal elements of our matrix if we then put that over here we get the following results on the diagonal we'll get the variance for the length measurement 0 0.02 the variance of the width element 0 0.012 and the variance of the height readings 0 0.0006 and that's the beginning of our covariance matrix the diagonal only represents the variances in the measurements of the three particular values that we're measuring the length the width and the height on the off diagonal uh, elements there we're going to get the relative variances or what we call the covariances the variance of the length relative to the width the variance of the length relative to the height and vice versa the, and also the um, the, the variance of the width relative to the height as well. That we'll show in the next, we'll show in the next video because I'm out of room on the, on the board here. So we're going to keep the top portion of this and then we'll go ahead and do another uh, video to show you how to cal calculate these da the off diagonal elements and that will have the total covariance of something simple like taking five measurements of the length to width and the height and how then to calculate the covariance matrix for that. We'll show you some other examples as well, and then we'll show you how to actually apply that to the Kalman filtering process. So stay tuned if you're interested in this, and we'll show you some more examples.